For the first time, we're getting an inside look at the calculated planning of a murder by a mother and son in El Cajon. Surveillance tapes obtained by 10 News reveal the chilling exchange with the man they believe was a hitman. 10 News investigator Michael Chen looks at the brainstorming list for murder and the links one man was willing to go to to make his wife disappear. Inside this car and just outside of Walmart in El Cajon, June Pickard is shopping for a killer. I'm sorry, we have to meet on this. Pickard thinks the man she's talking to is a contract killer referred by an acquaintance. We want to get rid of her. I mean, the one is dead. The woman in her crosshairs is her daughter in law of three years, Rita Mansour. She's healthy and American. Bless her little. Park. It's clear there's no love lost, and clearly Pickard loves Mansoor's condo and bank account. She's sitting on $80,000 in her savings account. Pickard isn't wealthy and offers the man, an undercover El Cajon police officer, $1,000 in several installments. She's also been thinking about the method of murder. If we tried to strangle the trooper, we'd have our handprints all over. We were originally thinking maybe something in the radiator and make the car blow up. At one point in this parking lot, the question came up what should be retrieved from the body once the murder happened? The answer was a bank card. All we just need is that one DNA card back. The rest of them, fake them, run them out to the max. Pickard is giddy with anticipation, and several days later, she and her son, Richard Noble, Mom, I love you, but can I say something? meet with the supposed hitman to talk about how to get away with murder. If I was walking her to the car and we got jumped, I'm willing to take collateral injuries. Pickard has already hinted she wouldn't mind if Mansoor just vanished. We've already figured a story to keep her parents at bay for a while. Eventually, Noble suggests his own ideas on how to kill his wife. A botched robbery, or this. Middle Eastern and race crimes happen. Later, in a jailhouse interview, he seemed to blame his mother. I was stupid enough to follow someone else. But when given a chance to back out in that final meeting, it was Noble who gave the go-ahead. It's a deal. He offered up keys to a condo gate, his wife's schedule, and left the method of murder up to the officer. The next day, mother and son were under arrest, and Mansoor was shown the tapes. She couldn't believe it. She didn't want to believe it. Um, she thought she had a fine marriage. The two who wanted her dead pleaded guilty and were sentenced to life in prison. Both are eligible for parole in seven years. If that informant did not come to us, uh, they would have found somebody uh, for the money to do this for them. Police say the two were interviewed after the arrest and showed absolutely no remorse. We did talk to Mansoor, who says she really thought her husband did love her, but says she feels very lucky to be alive.